here to be brought out. It's an interest, interesting detail here about the people who are involved in this part of the ritual. And it's the king's barge master, who's Chris Libbett, who oversees the transfer of the crown. And the monarch today retains 24 royal woodsmen under his command. They form one of the oldest appointments in the royal household. And they're here as footmen. And a reminder that in the past, the crown jewels did See there the cap of maintenance and the sword of state will be brought out to Lord Lisvain. We were talking a little earlier about the importance of ritual and ceremony, and I think you made the point that this is forms part of our constitution. It is our constitution embodied, given that we don't have a written constitution. That was all good. Yes, indeed, we don't have a written constitution. We have constitutional arrangements. And in Walter Badgett's terms, I think we're seeing the dignified part of the Constitution today rather than the efficient part of the Constitution. But these uh, elements here, you have the Great Sword of State, which um, symbolizes the monarch's right to protect his realm. You have the Cap of Maintenance, whose origins are rather more obscure, but uh, nevertheless, uh, they're indicative of a dignity. Uh, some people if you've got to put a crown on it, sort of cushion for the head, but there is uh, something like a, a, a cap of maintenance inside the crown anyway, in order um, to uh, improve the king's comfort when he wears it. And as uh, 